Okay. Please introduce yourself to the board member. Okay. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Subhumai Mullik. I am from West Tipura, Agartala. I did my graduation in BSc from Vidyasagar University. I belong to a nuclear family and my father was an ex serviceman and at present my mother working as an Unwanwari worker. My hobbies are playing cricket and listening geopolitical news. That's all about me. Thank you so much. Okay. This is your first attempt? This is your first attempt? Yes, sir, first attempt. Okay. What are the other exams you are preparing for? I am preparing for the teaching exam uh, and also CGL. You have done also. you have done B8? Yes, sir. I have done B8 also. Okay. Have you appeared any TAT exam till date? What is the outcomes? Uh, I have qualified, uh, but uh, recent Supreme Court judgment that they are uh, not qualified, uh, not in the, they are not uh, uh, applicable for the primary state. Okay. So, what are, you, what are the preference you have given uh, while uh, you have submitted the application of TPSC miscellaneous post? Yeah. Actually, I have interest uh, in uh, uh, CDPO uh, as because my mom is uh, uh, working with this uh, uh, job, ICDS. But uh, I prefer uh, uh, first, first uh, choice I given, uh, that is Ponchai Executive Officer. Next uh, one is ICDS Supervisor, then CDPO. Okay, first priority you have given Panchayat Executive Officer, isn't it? Then ICDS supervisor, then CDPU. Yes, sir. Why is it so? Uh, actually, uh, the vacancy is more in uh, Ponchai Executive Officer. Uh, that's, that's why I prefer Ponchai Executive, uh, Executive Officer. Uh, okay. Can you tell me what is the job role of Ponchai Executive Officer? Okay, sir. Ponchai Executive Officer. Acting as a nodal officer uh, in uh, distributing the uh, Indra Awas Yojana or as president of the Pan Muntri Awas Yojana, as well as uh, he, uh, he also play a very important role for the development of uh, his panchayat, and he is acting as a one or more panchayat in his uh, uh, in his uh, under his control, and he also distribute the fund which is given by the central government as well as state government to his uh, gram panchayat and uh, also looks after the uh, well-being of this uh, gram panchayat. Okay. Suppose through Pradhan Mantri Awash Yojana scheme, if you have 10 houses to distribute among the rural people, so, based on what parameters you will distribute the houses? Yes, sir, repeat. Based on what parameters you will distribute the houses to the rural people? So, Pradhan Mantri Awash Yojana scheme, you have 10 houses for rural people. Okay? Yes, sir. Based on what parameters you will distribute the houses? Okay, what else? What else? Any other parameter you will look into? Sir, first of all, I see the uh, economic condition as well as uh, him, uh, where he is living, 
सपोज इफ एग्जिस्टिंग प्रधान प्रधान और पंचायत मेंबर दे आर ट्राइंग टू इंसिस्ट यू टू गिव दिस पर्टिकुलर हाउस टू दोज हु आर सपोर्टिंग टू द एग्जिस्टिंग पोलिटिकल पार्टी सो वॉट यू विल डू इन दैट केस कैन यू से समथिंग अबाउट थ्री टायर सिस्टम ऑफ पंचायती राज इंस्टीट्यूशन ओके तो दैट मीन्स इन आवर इंडिया इट्स डिसेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम इज एंड इट टॉप टू बॉटम एंड इट इज लाइक डिसेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम इज एंड इट लाइक टॉप Yes, isn't it? So, yes. so uh, gram panchayat member, gram panchayat pradhan, they are also part of a panchayat, isn't it? Yes, sir. So they also have some uh, their own opinion. So they will share with you. So how you will deny? I will. I will listen his statement. What he is he is saying. If it is uh, under the rules, then I will uh, listen his uh, uh, what he want to say. Okay, you. If it is against against the ethics or against the rules uh, given by the government, then I will tell her that a uh, illegal work or uh, that is uh, immoral work I will not do. Okay, fine. Can you say something about Betty Bachao Betty Padao scheme? Yes, sir. Yeah. Betty Bachao Betty Padao scheme. Uh, it, uh, it is a central government scheme. It was introduced in uh, 2015. The main, uh, uh, mainly um, three ministries. That is, sir, Women and uh, Child Development Ministry and Ministry of Health and Welfare and Ministry of Human Resources and Development. Uh, combine uh, these three ministers introduce this. Scheme uh, Betty Bachao Betty for us. For the upliftment of the uh, uh, girl child, that is the uh, 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 sex ratio was deteriorated. That is the girl child uh, number of girl child as uh, as a thousand male uh, is uh, less. To improve this, uh, this type of scheme is taken by the central government. Okay, there is something about the job role of CDPU. Yes, job profile. Job profile. Uh, sir, CDPO uh, Child Development Project Project Officer mainly yes. do the six uh, basic things. That is the uh, the monitor that um, six basic things. These are sir uh, pre education of the children from zero to six age and supplementary nutrition and pre health checkup immunization and. Other services uh, are yes. working properly or not in uh, uh, in the Manwari Center. They uh, supervise through the ICDS supervisor and collect the data from the ICDS supervisor and he, he report all these things uh, to his higher authority and also make the, uh, uh, mm, the food distribution properly or not. These are the job are. Okay, can you say something about Amen Riga scheme? Amen uh, Riga, sir. Yes. Actually, sir, uh, uh, in 2005, uh, uh, it was initially named as Narega National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Uh, yes. After 2009, it became uh, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment, uh, Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Under this scheme. Central government provide a 100 days work facility to the uh, rural, uh, rural unskilled labour. 
okay okay any other things the minister of rural and development authority and melrose was for the rural wages employment okay can you say something about dinodayal antodaya yojana which is under a national rural livelihood mission sorry sir uh, okay sorry uh, do you have any idea regarding shukanna samriddhi yojana Any other things? Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, you are uh, you you have appeared for TPSC combined exam as well as you are preparing for TET exam, isn't it? Yes. Sir. So, actually, uh, which one is better for you? What you are thinking? Since you have done BSc Maths, isn't it? Yes, sir. So. how you will uh, prioritize i give uh, priority to tpsc uh, tpsc exam sir why I have tpsc sir called why why it is so actually i am uh, at present time uh, i am fit for that job uh, and if i will uh, get any other then i will think about it no i am just asking that uh, since you have done bsc math so and up to, uh, even you have done b ed also isn't it so yes, your sir. most preferable job will be teaching job since you have done your graduation in bsc maths and even uh, uh, for teaching job you have done uh, b ed also isn't it so don't yes, don't you think that uh, teaching job is best option for you since teacher is uh, teachers are the backbone of our society isn't it it is teacher of the backbone of the society i give respect to them uh, but at present uh, uh, i am um, uh, fit for uh, what i am uh, preparing for that you are simultaneously preparing for tet exam also na yes i am preparing for tet exam but at present i am uh, qualifying with tpsc uh, really and combine yeah uh, that's why i am uh, thinking that i am now eligible for that okay you just tell me the, how you will uh, differentiate teaching job and panchayat executive job panchayat executive officer job uh, it is uh, two job are different yeah uh, teaching job is uh, related to giving uh, education to the uh, child uh, to Okay, and definitely panchayat executive officer job diversity will be there, na? Yes. Sir. And you will be in a position to connect more number of rural people to do something for the society, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Okay. So you are preparing for only TET exam and TPSC exam, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Okay. How did you prepare for the interview for TPSC? Self. Okay. How did you prepare for the prelims and mains exam? Sir, prelims exam I have. Uh, it also uh, my self study helped me, and I read some uh, uh, reference book. Okay. And in main also, main also I didn't take any coaching. Uh, self study, I think self study best for me. Okay. Can you say something about Ujjwala scheme? panchayati raj institution is under which part of indian constitution sir repeat sir panchayati raj institution is under which part of indian constitution sir it, it is 
Which part? I am asking which part? Okay, good, good. It contains how many articles? Part 9? Part 9? Yes. Yes, it contains 16 articles. That means uh, that is it's starting with 243 and up to 243O, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, good. 243 to 243O. Yes. But how many articles at present I am not counting? Yeah, yeah. It is 16, 16 articles. Okay? Okay, okay. Okay, nice talking to you. Uh, nice talking to you. I am just, uh, I will call, call back to you for giving your feedback. Isn't it? Okay. Uh -huh.